Okay, for this video, we're doing upgrades for the RV. So this little projector uh, is kind of spendy, but it's an Epson EF12. That's what it looks like. It's been pretty awesome so far, but yeah, it requires some kind of custom mounting plate. So in the RV, our cabinets, uh, not all the way up to the ceiling, but the old projector sat in the cabinet. That's what I want this one to do. And we have a pull down window shade for the screen that goes above our jackknife couch. So when you want entertainment, you simply flip a cabinet door up and open and pull the screen down and there you go. You got a big screen TV, far better than you normally get in uh, an RV with a flat screen TV. So anyhow, uh, they're out. Everybody's out of the plates, the mounting plate that lets you hang it. But in my case, what I want to do is put that plate across the bottom of here. I saw how it mounts. You use the two leg holes in this hole and I'm going to make it out of aluminum plate. But unlike what they do where then it hangs from that plate, I want to make legs. So it's still going to sit on its legs and maybe be a half inch off the ground in the back, off the bottom of the cabinet in the back. So it'll fit in there upside down, acting as a ceiling mount projector, but it'll have adjustable legs, not hanging from the top of the cabinet, but just sitting on the bottom and project across the RV like this. So like so many things, you can't just buy something. You gotta custom make something because I don't know why. Nobody else seems to think about doing things the same way that I do all the time. So anyhow, let's see how this goes. Let me get the aluminum plate lined up and see what we can figure out. So this is the situation in the camper that I'm talking about customizing. That's the roll up blind there. That's the cabinet that uh, the old projector used to sit in and the new one's gonna go in. So the whole problem was, <clears throat> If you're like me and you have a stash of movies, right, that you've ripped from DVDs, and you don't want to fool the DVD player, less moving parts, right? You got a jump drive. Well, the old projector had a built-in player, but it would not recognize all of the formats of video you may have. And that annoyed me. So when I saw this one, I was like, okay, it's a laser projector, so it's gonna last a very long time. It doesn't get as hot as the LED one. I didn't know that, but from experience, it's true, the LED one did get pretty hot. The LED one has the ability to be on battery, but I don't care. We're not dragging it outside, so for us, it doesn't matter. We want to hang out and talk to people at the campfire kind of thing while camping. We're not interested in watching movies. However, when you've got really poor weather or whatever, uh, or you're tired from hiking, biking, goofing off, doing what you do, uh, and you want to just lounge for a little while, it's nice to have some kind of entertainment screen that can pull down like this instead of a... Uh, TV that we don't really have a good wall in a seating position. If you watch my other videos, you saw we added this theater seating in here. Those recline fully and ripped out the dinette. And then the table can set up in front of the chairs. Anyways, the projector though, the new one has an Android operating system and the laser uh, projection system. So this all sounded great. And I think it's gonna work out great. The throw is a little shorter, so the projector doesn't need to be as far away for the same size screen. The other one could not fill the screen. It did pretty good, but this one's twice as bright as my old one, higher contrast ratio. So brighter lights and darks are different. And uh, I think it's gonna be great. And getting to the point finally, it has a built-in player that allows you to play all those different formats of movies and switch audio tracks. If you if you uh, got an audio track in the wrong language or something like that, that it defaults to, you can go put it on the one that you're supposed to be using. Um, in addition, if the built-in player's got problems, it's got Android operating system in it. So Android TV system. So if you wanna go to Google Play Store, download VLC video player or a player of your choice that you like better, you can do so. We rarely have signal where we're camping consistently to where you could use all the streaming features of this projector, but you could. If you're a place where you do have signal and some campgrounds provide Wi-Fi, if you have that situation going on, then yes, you could stream your Netflix, your Amazon Prime TV, 
whatever. You can set up your Plex server and serve, uh, stream your movies from your home collection to yourself in the camper, but I didn't consider that an option because usually we do not have anywhere near good enough signal to do that. And like I said, camping, using this screen for video games or video is usually simply because the weather's bad or just short term you're tired or something like that. So the idea is I already upgraded the stereo system in here. It's not a major improvement, but just newer digital with remote control. Point is the projector's gonna go in there and be set up a ceiling mount. I have to custom make this bracket it will have a three and a half millimeter cord is as audio out that goes over to this three and a half millimeter in. Then there's the remote that will control the volume for that stereo. So we should be all set. All you should have to do is flip this cabinet open. This cord's not sticking through there when it's all installed. Should be able to just flip that open, pull this screen down and you're done. Otherwise, when you're riding like you know, traveling, whatever. That's the screen, it's completely up out of the way. You got your full couch. Easy to set up and take down for a huge screen is the idea. And this will allow me to play all the videos that I had that wouldn't uh, play in the previous system. So let's get to making that bracket. That's the, uh, that's the layout though that we're dealing with. So here's the hunk of aluminum I had, I think it's, well, I can tell you, hold on. It is. What does that say? Whatever 0.091 is, almost a tenth of an inch. Anyway, it should be strong enough for this situation. I don't remember where I got it. Uh, no idea from the aluminum scrap uh, pile of a fabrication shop near me I wanted to practice my TIG welding which I have not done but I've got a bunch of little bits and pieces of aluminum and this is a piece of aluminum plate anyway could have used steel but I don't have a steel piece so this is what we're going to use so just thinking out loud here I think what the idea is going to be is make that plate unlike the factory one larger than uh, the square dimension, right? We're gonna make it bigger than that so that legs, just barely bigger, maybe, maybe half an inch on each side so that thin legs can go downward from there and act as its feet. I wanna make it very light because this projector's already heavier than the other one is. Fine for a cabinet, but I want it to sit on those legs. I'm almost thinking uh, make a rectangular base that the legs meet up with. I'm not sure. I don't want the legs to, you know, shoot out sideways, but I'm thinking that making them out of uh, some scrap wood over here would be better and faster and easier than trying to fabricate this entire thing out of metal or aluminum. I think the pieces on the sides, the legs, and the part of it will be wood, but uh, aluminum for that because I want this to be strong and I guess options are always good if you wanted to uh, we could make this so that it would be tripod mountable with a standard quarter inch I think it's quarter inch screw type thing in the middle we'll see about that I ain't sure about that I don't think I'm ever gonna drag it out and do that but you know it's nice to have the option if you wanted to anyhow let's get going reading the install guide uh, it says don't use the little feet screws, they're not strong enough. So step one is check the stash of machine screws and see if we got ones that fit those metric threads. So I figured the easiest thing here to do would be get some measurements, right? I don't know, just eyeballing it. Let's make it, let's make it nine inches by, well, the legs only need to stick off the sides, not the front and back, actually. So, yeah, let's make it nine inches by seven. All right, so I'm gonna cut this cardboard precisely to nine by seven. Then I'm gonna put these, 
By the way, this never happens. I actually had perfect screws for the job and perfect lock washers and washers. That never happens. Somehow I had those in my stash. From reading the instructions on this, it said don't put the screws in any longer than six millimeters. So I'm gonna verify that before I go jamming the screws in there. And if we gotta cut them down, we do, but I think they're fine. Anyhow, cut this nine by seven, put the screws in, and then I'm just gonna take this piece of cardboard like this and just press on it, make an indentation to where the screw heads go. And then I'll use a center punch to transfer those hole positions to the piece of aluminum over here. So that's the plan. Anyways, my uh, marking wasn't that accurate. I had to take a little rotary burr on the Dremel tool and maw out the holes, but they're still plenty smaller than the washers that are gonna go over them, so good to go. It fits, I tested it on the projector. Let's pretty up this uh, piece of aluminum a little bit. Okie doke, I admit, I'm hyper obsessed with dust collecting. So I've sterilized everything, wiped down the workbench, wiped this off, there's our plate. Well, let me see this thing. Let's see. That's the way it's gonna go. You know what? Hold on, I did not measure these to make sure they were gonna be inserted six millimeters or less. Let's find out. Metric. I must have cracked this 10 seconds after I bought it. It's worked fine, but I just haven't replaced it. Too cheap. Oh. Well, that's 10. How much do you lose for having this plus the thickness of this plate on here? Boop. Perfect, just eyeballing it. 
even when you pinch that uh, even when you pinch that lock washer down we're gonna be below six so yeah well, let's find out just want to look in the holes and see what's under them as far as I can tell it's not like the electronic board is sitting right under there but you know, I think you just would bottom out the screws and try to strip it out, it's what you'd end up doing. Oops, wow. Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Come on now. Finger's not working. Finger no worky. Oh my gosh. Get on there. Just. Huh? <laughs> good so far. Feeling good about that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we're gonna put legs in these four corners somehow. Yeah. Let's proceed. Well, as for tripod mount, I don't know. I mean, you got room down in there to put a little nut in there, but really? I mean, I wonder if the plate is thick enough at, now that it's sanded, maybe we can tell better. What is this thing? Two and a quarter millimeter. Um, I don't think that's enough to put threads in it. And you know what, forget it. This is never gonna be the go-to projector for me to put on a tripod. It's not gonna happen. I have the other one for that. So let's just not even pretend that's a thing. All right, let's figure out some legs. Okay, this is going way above the call of duty, I think, but well, I have played the fool with the projector and try to stuff little things under it to get it just right, and it's a pain in the butt. So I checked my stash. I've got these rubber feet. And they're threaded and I have these solid aluminum rods so what I think I'm gonna do is um, make four legs out of these and then thread adjustable feet into them this way and then machine screws with lock washers will go in them up here so they'll be rigidly affixed to the top but you'll be able to twist out the feet and adjust it however you need to. And then, like I said, it's upside down in ceiling mount mode, but it will be sitting on four adjustable feet that stick out past the sides. I looked on the side over here. It doesn't look to me like this is gonna block anything, either speakers or plugs, so I don't see why everything won't fit geometry wise. Um, I just gotta go remember how to operate the lathe, which I don't think is that big of a deal. It's just drilling holes, but that will guarantee that I drill the hole right up the center of the... So, let me get that set up.
Well, that's what I was talking about. It turned into more of a pain in the butt than I thought. There they are. There's some lock washers. Let me go get it installed on the uh, projector plate. Okay, here we are, boys and girls. I figure I can't get in trouble for showing my own video, can I? Oh, God. All right. So this is what it looks like now. Come in the camper. Boom. It's a big one. So there's our seating. Projector sits up there in that hole. And again, those wires will not be dangling like that. Oops, laser in my camera. But it's, uh, I'm pleased. If you crank it a little to the side, right, and it tries to keystone, keystone itself, uh, I got lucky. It just exactly fits this screen distance-wise. So I've used every bit of screen that I got, and uh, I'm really happy with it. <clears throat> so, hey, I'm going to count that as a win. Uh, I didn't want to fool it all day, but you can't get the plate in order to modify the plate. And I know the factory one doesn't extend past, you know, the edges like that. So that's it. All right. Thanks for watching.